I'm Tatum Skipper and welcome to Jackson County Today. Jackson County has a lot to offer. Let's take a look. Welcome back. Still here at the inaugural Mariana Mistletoe Market. Uh, we went into this thing not really knowing what to expect and we're having a ball. Here's day two. Uh, yesterday was jammed most of the day. Most of the vendors have uh, actually said that they would, uh, they had a great day and they would return. Here right now with Amy Mason. Amy, uh, you guys seem to have been busy uh, most of the time. That We were here a good part of yesterday and so far today you look yes. like you're busy. What is it that you're selling? We are selling um, monogrammed phone cases, iPad cases, car tags. Um, you name it, we can put an initial on it, mostly. So monogramming? Monogramming, but not embroidery. So. Okay. And I guess that's the thing you ordinarily think about when you think monogram. You right. think of a embroidery. And uh, what kind of a process is that? It is a sublimation ink, mm -hmm. and it's a heat press. So. And you're doing that right on site here? We're doing it on site. And okay. we're also located in Graceville. And I have a Facebook page. So. Now, when you say in Graceville, you have a brick and mortar store there? No. Okay. Not right I have a home. laundry room. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, and, and yeah. you know, anymore um, with the world market the way it is and right. online sales, That's where there's we not go. much point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how is it? How are sales overall? Pretty brisk? Pretty good. And this is helping getting my name out there. So um, it's been a good turnout. Yeah. And if you're already in Jackson County, and here we are in the, uh, the county seat of Jackson County, yeah. lots of people right here. Right. This event being very accessible from I-10 and Highway 90. So yeah. um, how do you feel so far? Would you come back if, if you had the opportunity yes. next year? Yes, this was a great experience. Yes. They have runners and they have food. and That is the coolest part is, is that ability to just stop one of them and say, hey, I'd like a drink or I'd like some food. Yes, and they come and get change orders for you. So it's, it's a And that's something I hadn't thing. considered is, is that change aspect. Yeah. Wow, we do a lot of conventions and trade shows. That's the first time that I've seen that implemented, and to me, that would be a selling point. Yes, I said I was going to follow them around and do every show that they do. Now, do you do a lot of these kind of trade this shows? This is my second. I did the Harvest Festival in Graceville, and this is my second, and this is a great experience. We probably took some photos and video of you up there because we, we, we covered it, and uh, uh, you can see all of that on Facebook at Jackson County Today, as a matter of fact. Um, if you're watching this, chances are you're either seeing it on Comcast TV, you're seeing it on Jackson County Today, either on the website or the Facebook page, or Real Florida Magazine, either the TV show, the Facebook page, or the website. So lots of opportunities. Again, that online opportunity, a lot of people don't watch land-based television anymore. Right. They either TiVo it if it's, a, if it's their favorite show, they watch Netflix, or uh, like my wife, she goes actually on the website for NBC and watches watch some it. of the shows. So it's pretty cool. Yes. When I, I'm a mom, I, yeah. I get to watch all my shows at night. So when my yeah. kids go to bed, I TiVo everything. Well, obviously, this is one of several uh, fundraising events for Covenant Hospice in the course of the year. So as a vendor or as an attendee, you not only have the ability to sell your, your wares or to get some great Christmas gifts, but you, um, you're, you know that you're supporting Covenant Hospice, which is a great opportunity to, to support a great cause. That's right. It is. You're familiar with Covenant Hospice? Or were, were you familiar before? Um, a little bit, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It's then. one of those things probably all of us are going to probably have to take advantage of at some point in our life. Right, right. Or, or through family, uh, family members. Right. Well, thanks so much. You were a little bit reluctant uh, to come on, but I appreciate you taking the time. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is get an opportunity to talk to some of the vendors and get their take, obviously, for the promotion of next year's event. And it's good feedback for, for Covenant, too. Um, they need to know what was done well. If you could change one thing, if there was one thing that you would give them in the way of a tip uh, that you'd like to see different for next time, what would that be? I think it was great. Um, internet service, some people had bad time, but um, I had a good time. So. so you had the ability for a hotspot here? Or? I did. Um, they provided free Wi-Fi. Oh, wow. And so some, I, I'm taking credit cards and my phone works perfect with it. So. You're using the Square? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So is that not the best invention that, that they is, ever came? Yes. It's pretty it's amazing. Yes, yeah. it is amazing. One of the vendors didn't, I think, couldn't take the check cards, but um, I've had a good time. My, my experience is great. So. Amy, thanks for taking the time to Thank speak with you. us. Here again at the uh, inaugural, the very first uh, Mariana Mistletoe Market here at the Ag Center in Mariana. Um, having a great time. Uh, obviously, uh, most of the vendors are uh, very pleased. I'm sure that the Covenant staff, uh, although too busy to really pay a whole lot of attention maybe right now, are uh, going to be good feedback for them. Uh, and in the case of Amy, nothing that they would suggest uh, to, that they would, would like to see different next time. So high marks to Covenant Hospice and uh, a job well done. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Still here at the Mariana Mistletoe Market, having a lot of fun. Here now with one of the Covenant Hospice volunteers, Leola Velig. Um, Leola, you've been sitting behind us for a while there, and I turned around and we were in between other interviews, so I appreciate you taking the time to come Thank speak you. to us. What's interesting about this event is that there are a lot of the vendors here from the Dothan area or even beyond who are here not necessarily to make money, although they want to, to sell their wares, but to support Covenant Hospice. Right. Uh, we've had person after person give us that story and tell us that, that either they or them, somebody in their life or in their family had used hospice services. Mm -hmm. How long have you been volunteering with hospice? 18 years. All with Covenant here in Mariana? Uh -huh. I'm the longest one that's been here in Mariana. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. What's the most rewarding part of, uh, of volunteering for the organization? Oh, it's just the, the friendships that I make with these people. Uh, right now I have six patients, and uh, five of them are in nursing homes, and one's in her own home. And I get to be very good friends with the family. In fact, one just passed away, and I went to her funeral in the Cottonwood. And they insisted that I sit with the family. They appreciated my visit so much. And uh, it's just rewarding. Now, um, you say you've got six currently. Is that, uh, is that typical, that you would generally have multiple people well, with, with whom you'd work in? I'm kind of assigned to the nursing homes. And so when they get new admissions, okay. they add those. I used to be in the homes more, but now I've, we have three nursing homes here in town, so okay. I might make my rounds. It about takes a day. Yeah. Now, and, and how many days a week do you do that? I usually go just once a week. Okay. But if there's a need more than that, I will go. One day a week, that's still 15% of your life that you're, right. you're, you're donating, you're giving, you're volunteering. Right. Um, it's a noble cause. It's certainly a worthy effort. Um, we love um, all of the staff. They've got a very lean staff. There's not a lot of paid people, but no. I understand that you've got around 400 volunteers in this area. We have a lot of volunteers. Mm -hmm. And it seems like they, they express their thankfulness uh, on a regular basis. They have the, the volunteer appreciation yes. dinners and that sort of thing. Yes, they just... Sh they show us so much love, I just can't express it. My supervisor, she just acts like the, the volunteers are just, each one is special. And I would imagine that you end up with a lot of friendships within the volunteer group as yes, well. Yes, we do. We have our meetings, luncheons. We've met a lot, a lot of nice people. What's the most challenging part of, of working uh, with that hospice organization? Well, I'm also with the 11th hour program where uh, we go in and sit with uh, those that are terminally ill and they don't have a family. You know, our motto is that no one dies alone and they right. don't, and they don't buy, buy, die in pain. And uh, I've been with three as they took their last breath. And uh, it's a challenge sometimes, but... Uh, it's just part of the job. I understand. It's just part of the teamwork. We're, we work so good as a team. Everyone is so necessary to make this thing work. <laughs> well, we appreciate your efforts uh, as a volunteer with hospice. More importantly, thanks for taking the time to speak okay. with us right now. Uh, we're, we're totally blown away by the organization. We are impressed by the um, the um, uh, the the number of hours and the, the ferocity with which uh, the volunteers and the staff uh, uh, attack the, the issues with which you deal. Um, nobody uh, gets out alive, and uh, no? but for the grace of God, we're all going to need that service at some point. Right. So uh, again, thank you for all you do. Thank you. Here right now at Mariana Mistletoe Market, uh, exploring a little bit about Covenant Hospice. This is one of their several fundraisers in the course of the year. Uh, certainly a worthy cause. If you're watching this right now, it's too late to come on out here, but mark your calendars. This will be an annual event just before Thanksgiving. Great time to do some of your Christmas shopping, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Still here at the inaugural Mariana Mistletoe Market, here with Angela Arnett. Uh, Angela actually uh, was gracious enough to come on and speak with us yesterday. Um, and what we've done is uh, sort of approach a few of the vendors that we spoke with yesterday, trying to get their take on the overall event. 
Angela, um, it looks like you've been uh, fairly busy uh, when we walk by. I've been trying to get you for the last little bit, and you've been you've had some people you've been talking to. Has that equated to sales? Yes, it has. It's been busy today. And uh, remind me again what it is that you actually sell in the name of your business. My name is um, my business is Everything's Candy Design, and I make handmade jewelry. And you came from Miramar, if I remember. Yes. Okay. Miramar Beach. Yeah. So, um, no short distance. You have to stay here in a motel or hotel? Stay with a friend of mine. That's right. Yeah. I remember that now. It's all coming back. <laughs> um, overall, I asked you the question yesterday. If you were happy at the time you were, you still feel good about the event and would you come back? Absolutely. I will be back next year. Uh, that's strong. I think that some of the um, added value of us doing these video interviews is the feedback to the Covenant people. Um, would there be anything, um, however small, that you would suggest to them to change? I can't think of a thing. Everything has been perfect for this visit. That's really a strong uh, statement. When you uh, came with me, you wanted to have somebody watch your booth. I noticed you grabbed one of the runners. That has been, to me, one of the most impressive parts of this event. Um, if you want something to eat or something to drink, if you want somebody to watch your booth so that you can go to the facilities or if you walk away like you did for a few minutes, that's a really nice added benefit. It really is. It's. Um you, you get out of that little cubicle for a few minutes just to stretch your legs. So, yeah, to have somebody readily available to watch for you is awesome. Well, this is a, a two-day event, two 11-hour days, 22 hours, as you say, in that little 10 by 10. Yes. I know at the end of a trade show, I'm trying to keep my smile from coming on because, you know, your face is frozen in that, you know, welcome to my booth look, you know. Um, and obviously, you have a lot of fun with it. But 22 hours is a long time. Yeah. You go to bed last night. I'm sure you, next thing you knew, you were waking up having to come back here. Yes. So, again, it had that opportunity to have a break. Um, what's the best part of the event, do you think, from a, a vendor point of view? I think um, the accessibility for people that actually work during the day and then um, extending the hours on Saturday because you have to run errands. So making it the longer time frame actually is very beneficial for us and the customer. So it was a it was a good experience for you. Did you also make enough money to make it worth your while? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was interesting um, when I got here today. A couple of the Covenant uh, Hospice people told me that they thought it was kind of slow. Yeah. Every vendor I've spoken to said it's been good today. Yes. How does it compare to yesterday? Um, equally as good for me um, as yesterday. So yeah. And we still have a lot more time to go. Oh yeah, we got a, we've got a, what eight more hours to go or so. Yes. Now you're in a. There are different areas of the room. You're in an especially well lit area, probably because you don't have people with large displays on either side of you. Yes. So you're very you're very visually um, appealing the way that you're set up there. That might have something to do with it as well. That's there, true. there are some darker corners, and some of these vendors have actually erected backdrops, which are actually to their detriment because it's cast shadows on what they're trying to sell. Yeah, that's true. Uh, where they're trying to be a billboard with their name. In reality, they're actually cutting down their visibility. So, um, Well, again, thanks for taking the time to speak with us again. And uh, I'm sure that the Covenant people are going to be happy to hear your kind words. And uh, we look forward to seeing you here next year. Absolutely. Thank you. Here at the uh, Marietta Mistletoe Market, uh, again, we're having fun. We're making friends. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all to support Covenant Hospice. We'll be right back.